We said that being calm is a state where a person feels comfortable, that maybe there are plenty of things going on, but internally he feels comfortable. How can a person internally arrange himself, his thoughts and so on, so that despite the changes that will come, he'll still remain calm somehow? Talk to your friends that go through those states. Talk to them. See how it will calm you down, how it will balance you out. It will give you their thoughts, and then you won't think only about yourself, but you'll start comparing what do they have, what do you have, and that will dilute your sorrow. So the thing that's supposed to calm us down in life is that around us there are other people that also go through similar things. There is no other solution. No other solution. Only that way. We can, maybe, there is something, but it'll be artificial. What's the right way to support someone so they can go through these changes and stay balanced? What kind of support can I give a person so that they'll stay calm? A sorrow shared is a sorrow halved. Meaning what? that everyone goes through these things, and, you know, life goes on. Of course, don't say, ah, I went through that too. Not that way. Sometimes we hear these things. No. But that you hear stories about this, things that happen to other friends of yours, and how they went through it. And even though that maybe it wasn't easy, but they, they did go through it, they came out of it, and maybe they have several tips for you. And that they know that you're going through that, that already helps you. Why? Because you told them, and now you have to show them that you're balanced, that you know how to keep yourself. Dr. Leighton, can you please summarize? What does it mean to be calm? To be calm, it means that you're engaged in things that you understand that are important, and this advances you toward inner balance.